I do much wonder that one man, seeing how much another man is a fool when he dedicates his behaviours to love, or after he hath laughed at such shallow follies in others, become the argument of his own scorn by falling in love. And such a man is Claudio. <laughs> I have known when there was no music with him, but the drum and the fife. And now had he rather hear the table and the pipe. I have known when he would have walked ten miles afoot to see a good armour. And now will he lie ten nights awake, carving up the fashion of a new doublet. Oof. He was wont to speak plain and to the purpose, like an honest man and a soldier. And now is he turned orthography. His words are a very fantastical banquet. Oh, just so many strange disses. May I be so converted and see with these eyes? I cannot tell. I think not. I will not be sworn. But love may transform me to an oyster. <laughs> oh, but I'll take my oath on it. Till he hath made an oyster of me. <laughs> yeah, he shall not make me such a fool. One woman is fair. Yet I am well. Another is wise. Yet I am well. Another virtuous. Yet I am well. But till all graces be in one woman, one woman shall not come in my grace. Rich shall she be. Mm, that's certain. Wise, or I'll none. Virtuous, or I'll never cheapen her. Fair, or I'll never look on her. Mild, or come not near me. Noble or not I for an angel, of good discourse, an excellent musician, and her hair shall be... Of what colour it shall please God? Oh. The prince and monsieur love. Oh, I will hide me in the arbour.